Hello everyone, it's Cherie coming to you with another message of what you need to know today. So you guys, if you haven't already looked at the title of the video, um, we are going to go ahead and get into some very, very deep conversations about how we are going to keep our head over our heart moving forward so that we can manifest and attract a better you know, life, a better vibration, and a better way of being, not for just us, but for all of consciousness and collectiveness um, of this universe, okay? So, um, just a few things. This is going to be an interactive um, session, okay? So, those of you who are on, hey, best friend, those of you who are on, comment below, you know, send uh, you know, like the emojis on the thing to let me know, you know, and interact because there are going to be some things I'm even going to ask you guys to say a few, just a few things. Okay. So what do I mean by keep your head over your heart? What I mean by that is there comes a time in every person's life when we have to decide, are we more logical or emotional? Right. And you know, a lot of people have that inner battle of, do I trust my mind or do I trust my heart? Now, this video is going to deep dive into that conversation, okay? So, keep your emotions at bay. What I mean by that is, whenever we keep our, whenever we just think, right? We're thinking with our mind, and we're filling with our emotions. Now let us think back to times when, like, I don't know. Visualize with me a moment in your life where you feel as though you made a poor choice. Okay? We're imagining that situation in our lives that happened in the past. Now, when you feel like you made that poor choice, was that a head decision or was that an emotional-based heart decision? Please comment below. Was that a head decision that you made um, where you feel, you know, that that, um, that moment was, you know, not up to par to your satisfaction? Was that a heart or a head decision? For most part, I mean, for most people, people are going to say it was a heart decision. It was an emotionally based decision. And that is why at times situations may feel like you know at some point in your life you may feel like oh you regretted a situation or you felt bad about a situation or you wish you could have changed it or you know just that it would have went a different better way is because you were going through things based off of your emotions whenever we are actually you know we're repetitionally based people. So whenever we act through emotion, that's really not even our first instinct. When we act through emotion, that is a coping mechanism. And emotion is a coping mechanism, okay? Hold on, you guys. Yes, emotions are a coping mechanism because whenever you are going through a certain situation you want to you are perceiving energy but you also want to be perceived so in order to do that instead of using words or instead of using visualization or so on and so forth you are allowing yourself to get emotionally based um frequencies okay so that is what we mean by keeping our you know situations are head over our heart okay and that's naturally how it is anyway right if god wanted it to be the other way we could easily had our heart up here and our mind down here but that's not what happened right so um we're gonna go ahead and say i'm gonna go ahead and ask you guys to repeat some things with me okay and we're gonna repeat it now and then we're gonna repeat it at the end of the video okay I realize, and you just say this right after me, I realize I can speak things into existence. Mm -hmm. I can visualize. Uh -huh. I can plan. Yes. I can feel. 
Yes. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. I can believe. Mm -hmm. I can act. Mm -hmm. I can release. Yep. And I can receive. Absolutely, you guys. And that those are just things to let the universe know what kind of vibration you're on and kind of know what kind of things to send in, you know, <clears throat> to you. Okay, so what we are going to do is a simple exercise real quick, if you guys do not mind. So imagine right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold up a word, okay? Give me just a second. I'm going to hold up this word. And what I want you to do is I want you to say this word without your mouth I want you to say this word in your mind say this word in your mind okay mm-hmm just saying this word so on the count of three I want you to say this word in your mind out loud but in your mind but like you know Put emphasis on it, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, we are going to focus on what just happened, okay? To learn a different version of ourselves okay so whenever you did that did you notice that not only did you say it right you could hear it in your mind right you can hear the fact that you said this word you said joy or toy whichever way you read it okay you said this in your mind uh-huh and in you heard it in your mind Mm hmm and so that's deep right so if you're saying things in your mind and you're hearing things in your mind is that your conscious what voice did you hear did you hear your voice you want to try it again let's try it again one two three uh-huh okay and some of you may even want to close your eyes and try to say the word. Okay, so let's do that again. One, two, three. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. So what in what voice did you say that word? You can comment below or, you know, mentally. I would prefer you to comment below. Whenever you're watching this, whether you're watching this on the 9th, the 10th, the so on and so forth years and dimensions and time spaces who knows but the point is yes okay so we are doing figuring out our mentality okay so whenever and i'm just going to be going back and forth between these questions does your inner conversations oh no 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 okay sorry you guys <laughs> so when you say joy in your mind you and I are powerful beyond mention at that time. You are essentially moving frequencies through the mind. Mm -hmm. You are hearing and speaking from within. Okay? What does that voice sound like? Probably sounds like your voice. Okay? Is that the same voice as your conscious? I'm going to leave that open to your interpretation. Okay? Okay? Is that the same voice as your conscious or is that another voice that comes in? Some people have no voice at all in their head. Some people have some. So it's just, it's different, okay? Is that the same voice as your consciousness? So whenever you think of like collective energy of like how everybody's feeling, do you hear things or see things or feel things? Turn that off. Do you see things or hear things or feel things based off of those things? Okay. And is your higher self 
is that voice, right? Your conscious, your higher self, is that God? Is that intuition? What is that version of yourself speaking within your head? What is that version, okay? And we're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that in a moment, okay? So, a few things that we can do is to meditate on phrases, phrases, okay, visions and actions, okay? So, the phrases we did, right? We did the I can release, so on and so forth, okay? We did the visions, right, closing our eyes whenever doing that um we didn't imagine the word um but we can do that now so you try to close your eyes and imagine joy whether you're imagining that joy in your mind you know maybe, maybe you're feeling the joy maybe you're seeing an emotional experience or maybe you're just seeing the word um, either or, that is a good way to meditate on phrases and visions. Now, actions. How do you have joy? An emotion can also be an action, okay? So, because you are choosing to emotion, right? You are choosing to be emotional, okay? So that you can feel this emotion. So you can feel joy. What does joy feel like does it feel high vibrational does it feel tingly does it feel weird does it feel silent you know what does joy feel like to you does it feel warm what does it feel okay so then another thing that you can do to help your you know life to move forward in a better more powerful way is to set the intentions and vibes okay what do we mean by setting the intentions and vibes that means that going into a situation, you make a conscientious decision, an aware and alert decision to focus on the goal, focus on positivity, and focus on getting to your goals, okay? So you also have to commit to that vision. So if you have a vision to create joy, right? If you have a vision to create a certain type of a frequency an energy vibration okay then you're gonna have to commit to that you're gonna have to think more positive thoughts every time you think a negative thought think a positive thought every you know and just different things like that you're gonna want to wake up around the same time of day typically going to sleep around the same time of day but mainly waking up at the same time of day daily will help you to get yourself into a new pattern, a new routine that's better for you. Another thing that you're going to want to do is free up space. Minimalization is key, okay? What I mean by that is, you know, whenever we, you know, minimal, you can minimalize anything, okay? You can, you know, go through your closet and minimalize the clothes that you have only to bare necessities, okay? About seven, right? Seven because that's a week seven different outfits okay i'm just saying you know that's minimalizing okay only food that you'll eat for the day or for the week or for the month or for the, you know so on and so forth minimalizing um you can minimalize energy not choosing to do things that take too much energy there's so many different ways to minimalize okay but that helps you to free up space to bring in things energetically okay so then we have making a schedule, okay? Schedules are nice. They are important. They're a great thing to help us to move forward. Writing things out is a form of manifestation on its own, okay? Calendars and planners, they're cousins, all right? Yes. Um, also, find complementary people, places, and energy. So if you know that your goal is to create joy, then you have to find people who are in the vibration or around the vibration or can help bring the vibration of that vision of that energy okay then you want to give equally to what you take 
Now, I understand sometimes you have to take things that you need so you can give things that you don't need, which is minimalization, okay? So, or you can give time or you can give energy or you can give support or you can give love. There's so many different things that you can give um, back for all the things that you have received, okay? So, you know, let's say somebody gave you $5. Well, what are you going to give them? You can't give them $5 because you needed that. So what you can give them is, you know, some really nice advice, some support, a, a listening ear, a shoulder to lean on, you know, things like that. Those are equal and opposite exchanges, okay? Also, some, you know, every, 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 every successful person in this world makes time for themselves. Scientifically, you need at least two hours to yourself daily of personal reflection and healing time. Time to talk to you, to meditate with you, to find your vibration, to raise your vibration, to heal your vibration, to just be in your vibration so that you know your vibration so that others cannot change your vibration, okay? Also, choose people with energy that you can balance with or raise with. Why? Because the more energy, the more power, okay? And we did a visualization on that earlier. Um, and I'm going to bring this up. How interesting. Okay, so this is, this is the universe. I mean, this is the earth. And then this is, you know, the people who are trying to raise the earth, right? So if here's you with your purpose and you're coming through aligning with other people and their purpose and eventually it's going to touch more and more and more and more and more people to where it touches the whole earth of people and vibrations being raised and healed and moving forward in a better frequency okay so that is kind of you know understanding the visualization process of what we're talking about and how to get there okay choose places with peace and or upbeat energy okay so like a library, it's a place with peace, but it can have upbeat energy, okay? Allow yourself to trial and error, okay? Yes, allow yourself to make mistakes and allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to feel, okay? But mainly, you have to fail to win. And you may fail 30 times before you win, but you will win, okay? Listen, take notes, be alert, focus, speak your truths, okay? Then we got a few questions that you guys can answer in your head or on your paper or however you're doing this. How would you feel at your goal moment? So let's let's say what your goal is, right? For me, at this moment, my goal is to create this joy, okay? So how would you feel at the moment of creating joy for someone or creating joy with people. I would feel joyful. You know, I would feel joyful. I would be the change that I wanted to see. So whether I was acting, whether I was feeling, whether I was, you know, planning, whatever it was, it has joy all around it. So what, how would you look, you know, trying to bring joy to people? You don't have to look a certain way to bring joy to people. You don't. You don't have to look a certain way to have joy, okay? But how would it look to you in your future? So let's say, let's all think two years in the future. What is that same joy going to look like? Yeah, only accomplishing more and reaching more people. What is that joy going to look like? It's going to look the same, for me, I don't know, for some of y'all, it might look different. You might want to be in a totally different energy, and that's fine. I prefer to be in my energy in different experiences, and that's fine. How would you be working at that time? Would you be, you know, working for people, working with people? You know, how would you be, you know, would you be working with the universe? Would you be working with yourself? How would you be working at that time? Then how would you be giving, Okay. We know how you would be receiving. You would be receiving abundantly for giving abundantly, okay? How would you be giving? 
By showing joy, people can feel your energy. So people can feel joy. So people can naturally be brought up by your joy without taking from your joy. Okay? And what are some things that you would be doing as a joyful person? What's some things that you might would be doing? You might be laughing. You might would be, you know, listening, you know, with a smile. You might be smiling. You might be smizing. You might be listening to music, driving, painting, drawing, you know, changing, working out, walking. You know, you might be doing shopping. You could be doing anything, okay? Sitting on the toilet. I don't know. what Whatever, you know, things suit you that you will be doing, okay? So you definitely want to think about those things as well. Okay. So then we think about our inner dialogue, right? Does your conversations within your mind, okay, match your goals? Does your internal conversation talk about your goals? Does it, does it have a frequency of your goal? Because if it doesn't, you need to drop it. If it does not align with it, drop it. If it is an emotionally based, situation try to drop that you know have some emotions right but if it's all if you're all in your emotions you need to drop that energy you need to be logical think with your brain what is the best things to do to get you to your goal that is what you need to do does your attitude match your goal well if your goal is to have joy then your attitude has to be joyful okay does your actions match your goal? If your actions don't match being joyful, then you probably won't be being joyful. You'd be thinking of being joyful, but that wouldn't be being joyful. Being joyful is being joyful, being smiling, how it, like how we talked about how it would feel to be in that position. It would be joyful, okay? Understanding this is a key point, okay? Attitude comes from your thoughts. So if somebody's over here happy, joyful, that's because their thoughts are aligned with that attitude. If somebody's acting stank, bougie, funky, da 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 da, that's because that's their attitude. That's their energy. That's their vibration, okay? That's their thoughts. Their thoughts might cause them to be in that reaction. It's a subconscious reaction that we can see visually, okay? So what you want to do is order your thoughts, arrange your thoughts for breakthroughs, right? So let's say you were having a negative moment in your mind and you was like, oh my gosh, somebody said something about dying. And you're like, what? Like, and then in your mind, you know, you you think of that going through your mind and then you're like, nope, I'm having a breakthrough moment. Instead of thinking about death, I'm going to think of rebirth. Instead of thinking about death, I'm going to think of joy and gratefulness and appreciation and humbleness and the people that I love and the things that I love and the ways that I love, the sounds that I love, the taste that I love, the, 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 the feels that I love. You're going to think of all of the things that you love to bring yourself that joy and to bring yourself out of that negative energy. Okay? Yes. Also. Admit to yourself that you have internal self-control. Say that aloud, everybody. I have internal self-control. Hallelujah. How do you relate to others is important. Do you relate based off of, oh, yeah, me too? Do you relate off of, you know, hearing of their experiences and putting your own um, memories to theirs? Do you relate by, you know, touching and understanding? Do you relate by energy frequencies, by emotions? How do you relate? Then, if you relate to a certain situation a certain way, for example, that past situation that you were talking about, that you felt bad about, that situation, right, has a relative emotion. Can you change how you relate to that situation? Yes. Because at one point, it might have been a poor decision that made you sad, cry, mad, angry, hurt, you know, fear, all those things it might have did, right? 
But now you can look back on that and be like, okay, that was not hurt, fear, this, this, or that. That was me not showing self-love. That was me not caring as much as I should have. That was me not going towards my goals. You know what I mean? So you can change the connotation of like, oh, that was me learning a lesson of discipline, learning a lesson of determination, learning a lesson of boundaries, learning a lesson of self-love, okay? That's what that moment was. So that's how you can change how you relate to a moment, to a person, or to a place, okay? Yes. So now we're going to go ahead and say those key phrases that we said earlier. So say these with me out loud or mentally, okay? I realize that I can speak things into existence. I can visualize. I can believe. I can plan, I can feel, I can imagine, I can act, I can release, I can receive. Mm -hmm. So good job, you guys, for doing that and for, you know, staying in tune. I'm going to go ahead and give you a quote by um, Ep Epictus. Okay, circumstances do not make the person. They only reveal the person to themselves. That is by Epictus, okay? So I hope that this session has brought you the breakthrough or will bring you the breakthrough um, that you have been looking for to help you to move forward, to know how to understand, vibrate, and, you know, frequent the energies that you're trying to. I wish you nothing but love, light, and positivity. Stay blessed and never stressed. Much peace, much power, and much love.